This is Grayson Live doing some more Assassin's Creed Valhalla for the PlayStation 5. As you can see, we are now done and caught up. Oh, by the way, yeah, I did like a whole bunch of like collecting. Um, this is a different area, so that doesn't count. Uh, I'll do that probably on my off, off time or something. Um, but yeah, I went through Lincolnshire. I went through West uh, Westminster or Win Winchester. That's what it was. Went through Winchester and uh, yeah, got all the treasures and everything. I'm back home in Ravensthorpe. And guess what? We go and talk to Ranvi and find out where we're going next. I'm assuming it's like Snottinghamshire. Well, it's always very snotty and snooty and stuff. I don't know. Unless, like, maybe we've unlocked Quite some other areas. The Eivor. Oh, yes. Uh, I don't know what you said, but to you too. The Order in Winchester has been wiped out, but we are no longer welcome there. My contact was none other than King Alfred himself. The Order wanted him dead, so he fought back. Alfred, the line between friend and enemy is a porous one. I mean, can we really put a raven there? They're not exactly an ally. But we can say that the Order is not there anymore. So that's kind of good. Uh, let's find out. I, mean, I want to see the alliance map. We're gonna try and get as many allies as we can before we go here. And I thought we'd be fighting Alfred, and maybe we still are, but I don't know. Um, looks like we're going north. Yeah, back to the snow. I have received a unique summons from Snottinghamshire in the north, from your old friend Billy. Billy. A name I've not heard in ten winters or more. How is he? Well, it seems. Vili asks that you join him in feast and celebration, in honor of his father, Heminger Jarl. A welcome invitation. It will be good to see him again. It is worth recalling that his father, Heminger Jarl, would be a formidable ally. Will you go? Absolutely. Because we need all the allies. will leave for Snottinghamshire today. Good. They will be pleased. Alrighty. So, because we're going to be going north, and uh, I didn't exactly show it, but if uh, you are curious, um, we are sitting with the mythical armor now. Um, that's what that looks like. However, because we are going north, I got some armor ready to go beforehand. Um, I think it was this one. So we're gonna go with this armor, cause, I don't know, like, I like to change it up every now and then. Um, I'll load in the, uh, the runes later. Or probably, like, off screen, but... Yeah, look at that. Oh, that is so pretty. It is so pretty. Uh, let's see. The gulag. There it is. So we got bare hands now. Um, and then these ones. There we go. Alrighty, so we're all set with our mythical armor. Look at us, we look all fancy. So, we gonna be doing our thing. Uh, I'm assuming we're taking like a really long boat ride. Unless maybe I can fast travel? Because we are going there. Okay, that's actually not too far away, really from uh, like other places that we've been to. Um, I could take a boat or I could fast travel there. Oh, um, maybe I could even go here and travel up. Um, that's probably the fastest place possible. And then I just simply like ride across. So maybe that's what we'll do. So we'll do this. Um, we'll stick around for a little bit, as I mean, look at us. I like that. I like the big fluffy coats. Looks so warm. And then we're gonna see some snow. Look, there's some snow already. It's so pretty. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, I need to turn around. Alrighty, I could totally do that. Uh, is there like a small boat I can take? Or do I just have to, like, swim across? I might just have to swim across. Well, that's no biggie. I get my furs all broken in, stoof. 
So, like I said, we'll kind of keep it here just for a little bit, and then um, I'm going to try and see if I can maybe find a road, which is looking like right there, maybe? So, we'll do all that. Ooh, it's all blue. I'm assuming the blue means that it's either nighttime or it's cold. One of the two. Because, I don't know, that's usually the lighting effects, at least. So... But, yeah, it looks like this is pretty much the last area. And then, um, I'm assuming that we're probably going to be going into, uh, Sussex or Wessex or whatever it's called. Um, that area that basically has, uh, Sigurd. And unfortunately, we don't have Dag. Um, not that I wanted to get rid of him, but he was being a little bit of a little pain in the ass. So, yeah, uh, something had to be done. And he kind of forced our hand there. Um, I don't know what the story is necessarily going to be entailing, whether it's just going to be like one major battle or if it's just going to be like a whole bunch of little ones and then we end up going into here or even into here, but I mean, we'll find out. So I will be back in just a little bit. This must be snotting out. Saxon and Dane live in peace. I expected nothing less for land under Hemingway Jarl's rule. You're a way from Norway, Wolfkist. Billy will be pleased to know it. Trick we spoke true. You have come to England. I have, and I mean to stay. Look at that. People already know me. It's fantastic. All right. It's Nottingham. It will be good to see Billy again. Yes. Let's see Billy. <gasps> Where? Oh, where? Pour the meat! Eivor has come to Snottingham! Let's go! I thought someone was already talking to me. They don't, they. There he is. This is so cool. The supplies are secure. We may set off at any moment. The game is actually making me walk slow. Oh, hey, get back here, dude. I'll wait until you get to the top of the stairs. Do I trust my own eyes? Is that truly who I see? Trygvi, you old hound. How are you? Eivor, a friend of old is a good omen. Look at this. Your chin grass might be mistaken for hedges now. Ah, but a healthy Jarl beard it is not. And what of Billy? I was happy to get his message. I stand in Billy's place today. He and his father have gone to Ulkathorpe to stave off an invasion of Picts. We've laid a long siege, and Hemingurial looks to finish the job. Uh, there was no mention of a siege. Billy has not changed, it seems. Yeah. I have not fought beside Billy and his father since we were young. They have my blade if they need it. In spite of these war cries, you should know that Billy's father is more frail than last you saw him. Uh -oh. How could that be? Hemming a Jarl is an ox. So he is. And he'll be pleased to skull with the moon in his jaws at the sight of you. Come. The swiftest path is by river, but these waters are hostile to Norsemen. You bring good luck with you. We could guide the sail steeds downstream. Yeah, let's go. I'm ready for whatever danger awaits. Prepare your convoy, and we'll be off. Heckin' yes. Our Jarl has waited long enough. We follow the Wolfkist to the encampment. The Tale of Two Jarls. We follow this man. Hey, where are you going? I like my fur coat. It's fan it's so beautiful. You'll soon have more names than the old father himself. I've traveled far, spilling the dew of slaughter. A reputation is the price of victory. Aha! Indeed! Ooh. So I know we're getting close to the downloadable content with the uh, Irish, um, where Eivor goes to Ireland. Um, 
I I'm debating on showing that off, but I'm not a hundred percent sure on it. So Ready the sea beasts. Avor Wolfkist is here to escort us upriver. Do do I do I summon my boat? Or do you have a boat? I think I'm just gonna summon my boat. So convenient. Alrighty. Yep, wrong side. I remember when Billy and I were small children. You spun many epic yarns for us over the hearth fire. But Let's see, where am I going? Oh shoot, it's like right in front of me. Telling us how you came to serve Hemming a yarn. Is it a tale worth telling? It is. But a sad one. I suppose I was the age you are now. Skadi had sent us a harsh winter, and much of our clan was starving. To feed us, my family... Hicks ashore! Protect the convoy! I think we need to go back... ...and save... Our other guys. Just gotta make sure they're safe. There you go. Come on, guys. Yes. Okay. I was not expecting this to be like so darn slow, but this is definitely gonna be eating up into our time. Do that. Fire! Do that. Fire! And how about you guys? Fire! Fire! Shot. Ready. Fire! Bones! Lose your face! Oh my god. What the heck? Alrighty. I don't think that's supposed to happen. I don't even know how that happened. I guess that makes sense why they're taking their sweet time. Let's go, guys. You can do it. I believe in you. One guy's got a row for both of them. Oh, well, it looks like one boat's kind of coming off. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that is a glitch and a half. Oh my goodness. That is kind of embarrassing. But I'm probably going to leave it in. Just because. I have orders to go to Stoneberg, but our camp is just ahead, so hurry on without me. Dilly and Hemming a Yarn will be pleased to see you. I'm sure they will be. I just gotta figure out where the heck I'm going. Uh, okay, cool. So, we did all that. Um, pure woods. Uh, going this away. Oh, look at this. All snowy, mountainy. So pretty. Look at that, we kind of blend in a little bit with our furs. So nice. Uh, so, I'm thinking that I may not show like the entirety of that whole boat scene. Shred my sheepskin. That there is Eivor the Wolfkist. Eivor! Hail! We have not laid eyes on you for some ten winters now. Hail, friend. The Picts cower, fray as kiss. You came. Welcome. Your son sent for me, Heming Yall. One of the happier messages I've had in England. I wish I could expand on this happiness with good news. But we are in the center of a storm. 
And yet, my old heart sings great songs at the sight of you. You look good, Eifur. Strong. Healthy. So you too. You do look, do not look well. You really want me to hear Billy's name again. In coming to England, I thought I'd left the best of Norway behind. Uh, he often thinks on the old country as well. Seems to think his life was simpler then. Uh, it may be he is right. Movement on the walls! Rut row. We must end this soon. Before the weather changes. The whole of my clan would be here if you called them. No need. These men are flies for swatting. Even now, Trigfi rides for Stonebur. Should any picks escape, it will all be ended by this time tomorrow. You have known me as your Jarl for an age. And I have known and loved you all since you were babes. An easy burden to bear. Let's hope you fight better than you age, old friend. You're not slurring, Billy. Have you mislaid your ale? Today, you do not fight for me. Not for each other. Today, you fight for your children. Fight so that they may grow. So they may be good and just as you are. For them, today, we take back Ulkerthorpe. Trick V and A4 have brought us arrows and oil to bring firelight to the Picts. To feed their traps. The first to signal from the top of that tower, their war chief's weapon in hand, drinks my mead for the month. Thor's beard. It's good to see you, Billy. Oh, is it? Or have you come to snatch glory from my calloused hands? We can snatch glory together. Unless you're too frightened to fight beside me. Oh no, this is a contest now. To the top of that tower, and the pick chief is the prize. Old times, then. And new alike. Fight, Heminger sons. Bring victory today. For tomorrow, we feast. The arrows, may they burn with flame unbridled. The... Holy crap. Okay, so I don't know how long this is going to go, but I think I should probably end it here. It might be a short episode because I probably kicked out some of the, uh, some of the boat battling that I did because it was a little tedious. Um, so I'm just going to end it real quick. Uh, this is Grayson Live doing some, of course, Assassin's Creed Valhalla for the PlayStation 5. In the next episode, we will be finishing it off. Well, not finishing it off, but we will be continuing this whole thing with the whole uh, battle against the picks. And, of course, if you are enjoying this, by all means, leave a like, do the whole comment thing, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so that way you know when these episodes drop. Until then, I want you to, of course, take care of yourself and take care of each other.